welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing slash demoing the new Master Cameo Correcting Pencil from um, Maybelline. This one at a drugstore. I saw it. It was one of the new items they came out with. They do have like six correcting pencils. Like they have the purple shade, the green shade, and they have a darker one. I purchased the number 50, which is like... Uh, it's an apricot for dark circles. It's a light to medium skin tone, the, with the one that I got. I didn't buy the whole six of them because it's $10. It's $9.99 and I don't have $60 to purchase all of the Maybelline collection. So I only bought this one. So I'm pretty interested to see how well it works. And it's brand new. I haven't even opened it yet or anything. So I'm really, really excited to try it on camera and see. How well it works as you can see I do have a lot of dark circles I do have a lot of like dark spots and I just have a weird skin going on right now <sighs> I tried a new moisturizer and it it ruined my face it caused me to break out so bad that you can see it here like I have like major scarring and ugh. a lot of you applying this to one side of my face and the other part I'm not gonna apply it and then I'm gonna put on my foundation and see if it actually does it does do a difference you know if it does actually cover the dark circles dark spots or anything you know it does color correcting does it really work does it have an effect so I'm gonna try this one and it's a shade 50 and it's the apricot for dark circles light to medium skin tone and it does have like a little sponge applicator on the tip as you can see right here so it does have like a little sponge here to apply uh, to applicate the product so you do have to uh, click on this like this I don't like this kind of stuff when you're clicking because you never know how much product you're supposed to get out of it you're gonna keep on clicking 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 until something comes out okay I'm literally like clicking and there's like nothing coming out Oh, finally, there's something there. So you can see there, a little bit of product. So I'm pretty excited to try it and see how well it works. I'm like this, and I'm just gonna do this side of my face. And I'm just gonna like d dab on it because the way this applicator applicator is, I don't think you could actually like work, or actually, yeah, you can. You could, you could use this as a, to blend it out too. I'm just gonna apply it. It's, and this is from light to medium skin tones. So it's a little bit dark as you can see. It's like real, super dark. And you have to keep on clicking for product to come out. I'm just gonna do this. I'm literally gonna apply this all over my face. I have so bad scarring. Like I said, I tried this new moisturizer and it ruined my face. I'm later gonna talk about that moisturizer in a video that I'm gonna do about like my worst products. Because I've tried so many products and they have been bad. So. It's very dark. So I'm going to blend it out with this. A little spongy. And I did moisturize my skin. I used the Origins Perfect World SPF moisturizer. I feel like I'm putting too much product in so I'm gonna use my beauty blender and it does look nasty but it's not nasty I just barely use it yesterday so I'm gonna use a tip and I'm just gonna blend it out because I feel like I'm putting much product a lot more product into my face than what I need to I'm gonna blend that out and as you can see it's like making it less intense I think with if you're applying it with the sponge here it's just gonna make it more intense and it's gonna make it a little bit harder to blend so, and it, did I mention it retails for $9.99? I bought it at, um, one at a, uh, I bought it at a drugstore. So. Okay. I, I don't know if I'm using this correctly or not, but we'll just keep on rolling with it. So I do have a lot, a lot of, like, dark circles, like, <sighs> okay, I think it's blended out really well. So then for my foundation, 
For my foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal, the Pro Glow 203, and the Matte Pro Matte, the 102. And I'm just going to mix those two because they make my perfect combination. Okay, so I finished applying my foundation and I don't know do you think it actually covered do you think the color correcting work this side I have color correcting this one I don't on this side you know where I don't have it you can see my dark spots and everything my dark circles on this side you can't see my dark spots as much but you still could see it I don't know, I think it made my foundation look a little bit red. I don't know if it's because I applied too much product on my face, but it does feel a little bit heavier on this side. Uh, although my dark circles did not change as much, I think it still stayed the same. Uh, but my dark spots, I think it did cover it. But at the same time, it made my foundation a little bit more red. So I don't know if it's because I put too much product on it or not. But I don't know, what do you guys think? This is my side with no color correcting and this is my side with color correcting so do you guys think it made a difference let me know in the comments what do you think I personally think it did not cover my dark uh, my dark circles at all I think they still look the same I don't know if you could tell like they nothing changed the only thing that did change is that it did cover my dark spots but at the same time it made my foundation a little bit more darker it looks more red on this side I know on this side it does not look red, but on this one side it does look more red. So I'm going to finish my makeup and I'll be back and see if that made any difference with it. So stay tuned. So I finished my makeup. I set my foundation with a Makeup Forever HD and then I used some blush from the Revolution Matte Blush. I use this blush. I've been loving this blush and it's amazing. And then for my highlight, I use the Master Chrome from Maybelline. And oh my god, I just... Open this and I dig my finger into it. <laughs> Damn it. I just literally opened this right now to show it to you guys. And I dig my big ass thumb into it. <sighs> Can you see how it looks? Just literally, lit I just literally opened it up and I dig my big ass thumb into it. Oh, so I just used that as my highlight. It's a really nice highlight for a drugstore. So what's my final thoughts on this color correcting? I don't know. I personally think it, didn't, it did not do anything to my dark circles. It still looks the same. The only thing I did think it, it worked on, it was on my dark spots. On my cheeks. I think it covered really good. But at the same time, I think it made my foundation a little bit darker. So I don't know, if you have tried this before, let me know what you think. How did you use it? Did you use it a different way that I did? Probably I applied it wrong or I applied too much. I think I applied too much just because I was going back with it. Because you can see if I'm using this to um, blend it out, I'm just going to have a lot of product. So I wouldn't recommend using this as to blend it out. I think this will be just perfect just to dab into the skin and then just get your beauty blender and then just blend it out otherwise you're gonna be applying too much product into the skin so that's my recommendation for you is not to use this little thing to blend it out because otherwise you're gonna have a lot of product but I don't know I'm kind of confused I have to give it a, a couple more tries and see how well it works but I really wanted to test it in ca on camera to see how it worked so if you guys tried it before let me know what you think and what have what methods have you used to make it better so with that, I conclude this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.